Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about number system part 2. In this section we will discuss about binary addition, binary subtraction, octal addition, octal subtraction, hexadecimal addition and hexadecimal subtraction. But still if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and also don't forget to click bell icon then you will get more notification about new lessons right let's do first binary addition what is binary addition now i'm going to add two binary numbers so i have 1 0 0 0 1 plus 1 0 1 0 what is the answer now i'm doing like this i write question like this as you know 1 plus 0 is 1 and then again 1 plus 0 again 1 0 plus 0 0 1 plus 0 1 and 1 my answer is 1 1 0 1 1 let's do another exercise 1 0 0 1 1 plus 1 0 1 0 what is the answer fine i'm going to write my question like this 1 plus 0 1 and then 1 plus 1 answer is 2 but this is binary i can't write 2 like this so i can write 1 0 and then i put 0 here and I pass 1 here and 0 plus 0 is 0 but I got 1 here so 1 and 0 plus 1 answer is 1 and I have another 1 so here my answer is 1 1 1 0 1 right let's look at this exercise I have 1 0 1 1 1 plus 1 1 1 what is the answer? Now I am going to write question like this. 1 0, 1 plus 0, answer is 1. 1 plus 1, again answer is 2, but I can't write 2. So I can write 1 0. So I pass 1 into the next position. Now I have 1 plus 1, another 1. So answer is 3. I can write 3, 1, 1. So I write 1 here and I pass 1. 1 plus 0, answer is 1. And I have another 1. My answer is 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Fine. Now let's do binary subtraction. How to do binary subtraction? Fine. I have a question like this. I have 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 minus 1, 0, 1, 0. What is the answer? Now I am going to write like this. 1 minus 0, answer is 1. 1 minus 1, answer is 0. 0 minus 0, answer is 0. 1 minus 1, answer is 1. And then again, 1. So my answer is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Let's do like this 1 1 0 1 1 minus 1 0 1 1 0. What is the answer? Then I can write 1 1 0 1 1 minus 1 0 1 1 0. So minus what is the answer? So 1 minus 0 is 1. And then after that you have 1 minus 1, 0. Here, 0 minus 1, I can't do that. Then I am taking 1 here. But actually I am getting 2 because 2 to the power 1 value I am getting from next position. Therefore, 2 minus 1, answer is 1. But now, what happened next? Here, I don't have 1. Now I have 0. So, 0 minus 0, answer is 0. 
and then 1 minus 1 answer is 0. So my answer is 1, 0, 0 binary value. Fine. Now we do octal addition. Let's do how to do octal addition. I have 4, 3, 0, 0, 1 plus 2, 0, 6, 5. What is the answer? Fine. 4, 3, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 6, 5 plus, so 1 plus 5, answer is 6, 0 plus 6, answer is 6, 0 plus 6, 0, answer is 0, 3 plus 2, answer is 5, and then 4 here. So, this is my octal answer, 4, 5, 0, 6, 6. Now, we do another exercise now. I have 4, 3, 3, 7, 1 plus 7, 0, 6, 5. What is the answer? So, I am going to write my question like this. 1 plus 5, answer is 6. 7 plus 6, answer is 13. But here I can't write 13 because this is an octal value. So, 13 I can write. 1, 5. So, I can write 5 here and pass 1 into the next position. So, 3 plus 0, answer is 3, but I am getting another one. Therefore, answer is 4. And then again, 3 plus 7, answer is 10. I can't write 10 here. So, I can write according to the octal value 1, 2. So, I write 2 here and pass 1 into the next position. Therefore, 4 plus 1, answer is 5. So, my value answer is 5, 2, 4, 5, 6. Right. Now, let's do octal subtraction. How to do octal subtraction? Look at this. I have 5, 7, 6, 1 minus... 1, 7, 3, 0. What is the answer? I am going to write my question like this. 1 minus 0, 1. 6 minus 3, answer is 3. 7 minus 7, answer is 0. 5 minus 1, answer is 4. This is my octal value. 4, 0, 3, 1. 5. And then, 5, 4, 6, 1 minus 1, 7, 3, 5. What is the answer? Now, I am going to write question again like this. Then it will be easy for you all. Now, I can't do 1 minus 5. So, what I am doing is, I am taking 1 from next position. But actually, I am getting 8. Actually, I am getting 8. So, 8 plus 1 minus 5. So, answer is 4. Now, look at this. I don't have 6 there now. So, 5 I have because I pass 1 to the next position. So, 5 minus 3 answer is 2. And then, how can I do 4 minus 7? Again, I can't do 4 minus 7. So, I am getting 1 from here. So, 8 plus 4, answer is 12, minus 7, answer is 5. So, I got a 5 here. And next, again, I have to reduce one value. So, 4 minus 1, answer is 3. Finally, we are moving to the Hexadecimal addition. Let's do hexadecimal addition. Now, exercise 1. A91 plus 2, 3, 6 equal. Right. 1 plus 6 answer is 7. 9 plus 3. Yes. 9 plus 3 is 12. I can't 
write 12. So you can write C here because C will be representing 12. And then A plus 2. A is 10 plus 2, 12. Again, it will be C. Fine. Now let's do another exercise. A, B, 1 plus 2, 8, 6. What is the answer? So, A, B, 1 and 2, 8, 6. 1 plus 6, answer is 7 and B plus 8, answer is 19. But you know, I can't do 19. So, you can write 1, 3. That is the hexadecimal value. And then, I write 3 here and pass 1 to the next position. Fine. Now, I have 1 plus A. A is 10 and plus 2. Answer is 13. Again, that will be D. Fine. Now, we do hexadecimal subtraction. Fine. I have AB9 minus 283. What is the answer? So, I am writing the question like this. 9 minus 3 answer is 6. B minus 3. So, B is 11 minus 3, 8. And then I have A minus 2. What is A minus 2? Again, A is representing 10. And then you have minus 2. Answer is 8. So, my answer is 8, 8, 6. Hexadecimal value. Now, let's see. I have A, 3, 9 minus 2, B, 3. What is the value? Now, I am writing like this. Here, I have 9 minus 3. Answer is 6. But, I can't do 3 minus B. But, I am taking 1 from there. So, 16 plus 3. Uh, that is 19. 19 minus 11. Answer is 8. But, what about this? Here, I don't have A now. I have 2 minus 1. Because, previously, I sent 1 to previous calculation and then here 9 now I have 7 right this is we did hexadecimal subtraction fine now what we are supposed to do is we have to do several exercises yes we do questions now here you have questions you have 10 questions, convert decimal into the binary. So, remember, write down in this one into the piece of paper and write your answer. And then again, this one, convert to the octal as well. Another 10 questions are there. And then convert into the hexadecimal as well. Fine. Now, here you can see you have octal values and you have to convert binary and hexadecimal. Remember, there are some sort of shortcuts. So, if you don't know how to do that, please refer my previous video. And again, hexadecimal into the octal and binary.
All right. Now, this is another part. Here, there are some mixes calculations. So, you have to do properly and make sure all the answers have to be hexadecimal form. All right, that's all for today and please log in, don't forget to subscribe my video channel as well as click the bell icon and if you have any doubt, please let me know. And this is my video channel.